Hello, I'm Sifu David from Kama Battle Wing Chun. Today we're going to show you how to defend someone pushing you, how to defend someone pushing or shoving you, or how to defend someone shoving you. So what's all this terminology about? Well, there's pushing, which means I want to put my weight behind it and move it. And there's shoving, which means I'm just doing that. I don't have much weight behind my push. I'm just a, it's just a shove. Okay, so we're going to show you how to defend against someone pushing or shoving you. Stay tuned. So there's three different stages of a push. Before he pushes, when he's pushing, and after he pushes. So let's start with the worst case scenario. You already got pushed. So how we train this is we have your eyes closed, I'm in a weak position, and I'm not anticipating anybody to push me. And then somebody pushes me, and I want to get into a horse stance. This is very important, because if you don't get into a wide stance, the momentum will probably send you flying onto the floor. Okay? So one trick for this is to stand like this, and then stand straight up without any balance, without any, I mean, without any good stance, it's a very weak stance, and then drop into a nice, strong horse stance. Okay, like this, drop into a nice and solid horse stance. Okay, get used to doing that, just drop into it. Okay, so make sure you just drop your weight, just like that. Don't pump up and drop into it. Just go from here and drop straight into it. Okay, so that's the first exercise you can try back at home. The next step is now we're going to, instead of just dropping straight down, I'm going to turn while I'm dropping. So I'm turning, facing 90 degrees to my left, and dropping. Then reset, then drop, face the other way, reset, and then drop, and face the side. So they're two, combining two things. I'm dropping, and I'm turning. Okay? So the reason that works is because worst case scenario, you don't have time to bend, you have no time to do any technique, you already pushed, there was an ambush, and you have to get your balance back as fast as possible. So he's pushing, I drop, and I turn, just like what we did in the drill. So that is the first defense in the worst case scenario. If you already pushed and you have no time to do any technique to, to do the push, I mean to counter or defend against the push. Now, obviously, the push is just the beginning of the fight, so make sure that you are prepared to do a counter attack right after the push. So in this, the next step of this drill is he pushes, your eyes are closed, and then I'm getting ready for attack in case he does another attack. I'm going to get a straight punch, ready to counter attack. Okay, time, ready to counter attack. Okay. So the next drill is he's going to push and then punch. Very common in the street, how to defend against someone pushing and then punching you, right? So it's a push and then a punch, okay? So he's going to do that. Okay, so you want to be able to block and punch back at the same time. Okay, so that is the drill. Practice that. The worst case scenario, when you're already pushed, you're already off balance, how to gain your balance back as fast as possible and then counter attack before he can launch another punch onto you. So stay tuned, we're going to show you two more techniques on how to defend against a push or shove. So technique number two is how to defend against a push when you're in talking distance. He is about to push you and then you want to first of all do this, which is turn. The reason I'm turning because if I don't turn, he's got, he's got control of my center because he's got all the surface, I'm wide, he's got all the surface to push, push on. As soon as I turn, I make the surface area smaller because I all have this. And then now he's pushing this way and past my shoulders, right? So as soon as I turn, the, uh, the, I take away the big surface that you can push on. Okay. So that's the first defense. Now obviously it's not the only defense we're going to use. So we're going to be adding a little hand motion like this. Okay. So from the front, it looks like I'm bringing my hand up and then I'm doing that. Raising my hand up and just opening uh, just a bit. The reason I'm opening is he's pushing in. Opening just a bit so that his hands go past my shoulders. Okay, so again. His hands go past my shoulders. So this may not work if you are have wide shoulders, 
probably not gonna work for you. But if you have smaller shoulders than the other jacks, it's pretty good. It's because you can go right in between. Okay. So test this out with a partner and see if it works for you. So now I'm combining the rotation and also the splitting. I can go this way, I can go this way. So I'm combining the rotation and the split. Okay. So from here, go split, and then we continue with the chain punches and the middle. So that is the second technique, how to defend against a push or a shove. All right, so the third technique is if the guy has more space, so you have time to see the push coming. Right? So if he's further away and you can see him approaching, well, the first thing you need to do is to launch an attack first. Okay? But let's say you don't launch an attack first, so you just want to get out of the way. That's what you want to do. Okay? So I am previously coming this way, I'm stepping out of the way, turning sideways, so he goes down that way. Or, he's coming in this way, make sure I step out of the way so he goes this way. It's like a train is coming, oh, I gotta get out of the way of the train. See how my foot goes completely off the line of the train. Okay, you don't wanna go like this, boom. See, your foot is still here, and your center of gravity didn't move that much. So make sure that you step all the way out of the way of the train, okay? So in the drill, all you do is do this. Go this way, this way, right? Boom. Boom. Okay. So if he keeps his momentum, he's gonna go past. Now like these, like that. Okay. It's like a matador with a bolt. Okay. Now notice what I'm doing with my hand. I'm doing this motion. Which in Wing Chun we have the God Tom Sao. Similar, but I want to do it in a very soft way, in the Tai Chi way. Okay. Very soft. Fluid. Okay. So as it's coming in, I'm going to do it very soft and fluid. Okay. Very soft and fluid. The reason is because if I push on it, you're going to feel that and then whack, push back. Whenever your body feels some kind of, or most people, untrained people, who feel a force, they're going to push the force back. So you don't want to trigger that. Okay. So it's coming in very soft. Yeah. Very soft. I'm not doing this. I'm trying to move, push him all the way. I'm not doing this. Okay? I'm just letting guy, guy, I'm just guiding him past my, uh, past the line of attack. So now we have, we, we're going to combine that with a counter attack. Okay? So boom, and then we're going to slap here. Are right, we going the other way? Boom, we're going to slap here. Back this this way. Slap the balls here, then go in the back fist to the back of the neck. Push, run away. Okay, one more time. Get the back fist here, here, one, run away. Okay, so that is the third technique. What, how to defend yourself against a push when a push you can see coming. Now remember what I said is, if you can see somebody attacking, you want to do a spear ahead of time so he doesn't even have a chance to push. Okay, so this is, somewhere in between. So you can do a spear and then move all the way, right? Just do a kick and move all the way. Okay, so that's the next step. So you move all the way. And the guy's gonna try to push, but he's probably not gonna push you because he's getting stabbed in the face or the eye, right? Right? Straight kick, right? This way. Okay, so you're gonna boom, and then step out of the way. Step out of the way. Boom, step out of the way. Step out of the way. All right, so that's another drill that you can do. So train hard, and let's wrap it up. All right, so those are three techniques on how to defend against a push or a shove. We talked about what to do when somebody already pushed you and it's too late, and you have to recover and get your balance. We covered number two, what happens in the middle of the push, and you have time to do some kind of technique in the middle. And we also talked about what do you do if you can see the push coming from further away. So train hard, train safe, and have fun. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button. Click the bell too so you get all the latest notifications of the new stuff I'm putting out and you'll be the first to see those lessons. Make sure you comment, tell me what you think, you have any questions, or you tell me what you want to see in the next videos, and then we're going to make those videos for you. Make sure you share with your friends. So until next time, this is Sifu David. See you soon.